They say you shouldn't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. I don't even know if this one's gonna be good. I mean, who wants to watch me hang up laundry? When I was a kid, there was no such thing as an introvert. Used to call them homebodies. That's the reason I started making this vlog because it forces me to get out of the house. The older I get, to, maybe it's agoraphobia. I don't know. I'm not airing out dirty laundry here. You saw me take it out of the washer. All right, can't put it off any longer. A little while ago, I did a video about Benny Rossman, the leader of the Mass Trespass, and his blue plaque here in Timperley. And I noticed a little uh, side road or path, kind of like the one we're on here now. And uh, I meant to come back to it to see where it led. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna check that out. But, uh, so that was a series we did on the, uh, we're doing on the blue plaques of the area around here. And <laughs> we'll get back to that at some point. Today we're cycling for prostate cancer research. And uh, no better time than now to cycle. These rides are kind of short. They uh, they are only a couple of miles. So I have to fill in the rest on, uh, on the static bike. <laughs> Although that video took even longer than usual. This is Smith's Field. I'm not sure if it's in sale or temporary, maybe both. But uh, here's one of the neat things about video, making these videos that is. You, uh, you thought I just casually rode by here, didn't you? Another series of videos we did or are still working on is the Bridges of Sail. Now this is a pretty nondescript little bridge here, but we always end up on this little bridge. Maybe I should try and find out the history of this bridge. So this is Benny Rothman's house, or it was Benny Rothman's house. And if you want to learn more about him, check the description for a link. This seems to just lead to another street. And there are a lot of these little connecting pathways from street to street. They could be uh, ancient pathways that have to be maintained because of uh, access to the land. Anyway, it seems to continue over that way, so let's head over that way. Yeah, it continues on that way. But what a lovely little piece of ground this is. So this land is, uh, it appears to be not owned by a person. There's no fence or anything here, but what a beautiful little spot. Nice little green area for people to hang out and kids to explore. Although I'm sure it's well explored. <laughs> but a beautiful little spot. Not really owned by anybody, I guess. The council owns it. We own it. Beautiful little green space. All right, let's see if this carries on any further. It uh, ends at another street. Oh, there's another little pathway over this way. Let's see where that goes. It appears it just connects streets again. But as I was saying, these uh, little pathways could be ancient paths that have been uh, kept because they have to be and should be. So let's see where it ends up over here. Cuts over to this street. 
and I don't know what street this is. Now, I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any continuation of it, but uh, it could be that road or that road. If it's an ancient pathway that has been kept. All right, so we found out where that little trail leads. A little disappointing, but now we know. So uh, let's see what we find on the way back. Tilly seems to have lost her crown. Tilly, if you're watching, you can find it at my place. We should never let the perfect be the enemy of the good. It even started to rain at the end there, but I had a good time. Hope you did too.